well, it's registering on the panel here. So I'm assuming. Yeah, it's going to show up on Twitch too. Our, so our multitude work. of viewers out there can hear me too. Our assortment of viewers. Yes, our 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 piles of viewers. Binders full of watch. them. <laughs> Binders full of viewers. Binders full of viewers. Yes. I anyway, I left the uh, the Wall Street kid up thing up from last week because it's such a awesome piece of cover art. Let me tell you, it's completely ridiculous. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, there we go. So now Maybe you just get to watch the there's no CD in this thing animation from the 3DO. Ding, 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 anyway. ding. Anyway. Look at him go. CD <laughs> graphics. CD graphics compact disc. What is the other one here? Oh, I don't know what the heck that thing is. Um, oh, no, it's not moving. <sighs> I'm moving around. I can't see it. Video CD? I don't know what that thing is. Photo CD. Ah, I see. Let's let's check out Wikipedia here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely the uh the photo CD logo. Nice. Real. I actually remember this loading screen. A friend of mine had a 3DO, like, when it came out, when it was, like, $700. Nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I still have my 3DO. Well, yeah, you bought your 3DO fairly recently compared to its release. Well, compared to its release, yes. Um, <laughs> considering I bought it on eBay, like, five or six years ago for, like, $40. I'd say that's like I mean, considering you bought it to buy what we are showing this evening. No, 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 no. Purchase. Well, yeah, I I bought CPU box first. Yes. And then I went and found a system to use it with. I say that was a good good choice. Man, yes. I'm getting, you know, I know this is not the uh, the same system, but I am getting some serious Sega CD flashbacks from this color palette. <laughs> well, it is about that time period. I mean, the 3DO came out in 1993. Yeah, when was the uh, when was the Sega CD? Um, ninety. I want to say it was 92 when it came out. It could have been 91, actually. Uh, you're right in both cases, actually. What, that it came out in 91? And 92 and 93. <laughs> 91 in Japan, 92 in America, 93 in Europe. Ah, I see. I apparently know my archaic video game systems pretty well. Yep. Your, I can tell your, you all uh, about the CDI, too. CDI I had one of those. Systems. I, I saw somebody online recently talking about, like, you know why don't uh, why don't why don't game manufacturers do cool stuff like the RAM expansion for the N sixty four? I'm like, <laughs> what? Maybe because you know dozens of times they proved that that was a terrible idea. <laughs> you know, like hey. every CD add on would like to have a talk with you. How about the thirty two X? The fact that the you know that that RAM expansion was for three games. But hey, it fixed a glitch in in Donkey Kong Country, so don't yes. completely write it off. No, I'm not. I'm not. Considering the fact that nobody knows how it actually fixed the glitch. All right, I'm sure somebody can figure out how it fixed that glitch. But the more I find out about Rareware, the more I realize they were best basically just a bunch of drunk British guys making games for the Super Nintendo. Hey, they apparently did very well for themselves. Yes, they did. <laughs> I didn't realize this. Uh, every single texture on every object in, what is it, uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day? Mm -hmm. Every single texture in that game is 32 by 32. I'm not sure what that means. That's 32 pixels. Okay. Like, the amount of color detail that gets wrapped around every single individual model is the size of an icon on Windows. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, it, 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 you really don't have a lot of space to work with. You don't get to shove a lot of texture, just texture detail into Nintendo 64 games. <laughs> it would seem that way. I think, what is it, um, modern games, like I think uh, Dark Souls uses um, 4,096 by 4,096 images mm-hmm. for its textures. <laughs> That's a so bit it's a bit bigger. of a difference. Yeah, a little bit. Anyway, I think we've bullshitted enough for a little bit. Yep, we are actually a bit behind here. It yeah. is 8.38. Well, I'm going to queue we up the disc, so here we go. Give us a little background on what this is. Okay, well, if you give me a second here. i got to make sure this is going to cooperate. since it is actually reading from the disk drive. I'm just going to let the intro go on its own, and then I'll talk about it. Okay. I this do like that it's epic. a microphone. I think the first time I saw this, I thought it was screwed up. Audio really screwy. Well, something went wrong there, and I'm not sure what, because that was working pretty much on its own earlier. Anyway, so let me talk a little bit about this. So, this is the wonderful, and the emulation should work almost flawlessly. Um, this is the wonderful CPU box. This was designed by none other than Sid Meier. Um, a name you probably recognize from like Civilization and yep. Roller Coaster Tycoon and all those other really good games. This was a bit weird, simply because it's, it's not really it's not a really, game. It's not really a game, is it? No, it's really not. It's more of a. Mm, I don't even know what you'd really call it. It's like an AI experiment almost. It's like, hey, what what can we do in software for this? I suppose you could classify it that way. Anyway, whatever you want to call this thing, um, basically what this program does is it writes Baroque era music a la any of the box that you know, like um, C- CPE Bach or... Johann Christian Bach, or the one everybody knows, Johann Sebastian Bach, or any of the other Bachs, because man had a lot of kids. Yep. (laughs) It goes back to the old joke, you know, why did Bach have so many children? His organ didn't have any stops. Uh, (laughs) uh, That's kind of funny. Nah, it's terrible. (laughs) Anyway, um, so, yeah. Um, basically the way this works is it has a whole bunch of different styles of compositions. Like you'll have like fugues and chacones and in the example that's right up here right now as a prelude. Um, but you'll have a lot of different styles and you can kind of toggle the frequency that the styles show up and toggle the frequency of the instruments that are used. And basically it just sits there and goes on its merry little way writing music. And there are very different, various different ways you can see it on the screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show off a little bit of what some of these look like. We're going to change so, graphics. Or well, I'll you... get to that in a minute. Oh, okay. But it has a bunch of presets, like these. I was going to say we should things. let it just kind of play what it uh, what it already generated for you there for for like a minute or so. Oh well, it'll generate something <laughs> else now. When it's left to its own devices. Yeah, it pretty much just goes about. But anyway, it has all these presets. And you can go in and you can actually adjust how often they show up. Like, the more notes, the more it shows up. So I'm going to send them all to the same. 
And then, like I said, you have all our various styles here. And then you can go into each style and you can tell it what instruments you want it to pick from. So let's say if it writes a sonata, it's going to use the instruments that are actually listed here. But let's let's mm -hmm. be weird. Let's add choir in there, too. Okay. Because you don't really write sonatas for choir. So that's basically the layout, and you can go back, and each of these has its own program that it runs from, like... I just took this one and I threw everything together just so it hopefully now it gives a, you now, a nice now little Now the soiree is now, now the mat mix. Yeah, pretty much. And then the classics one you can see is grayed out because another nice thing about this program is that you can save some of the stuff that it generates. And if it comes up with something good, hopefully I can show that off. But anyway, nice. away okay, it goes. It goes into classics. Let's see what it comes up with composing an allegro and that'll show up and I'll shut up and let it play. Okay. Hmm. Alright, this is being problematic. Hang on a second. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is being a little weird. So you'll have to uh, excuse me a little bit on this. Just because it's it's being funky. This worked earlier, I swear. <laughs> All right, so let me make some adjustments real quick. Why do you have it set to 200% CPU? Let's see if I just put it back to normal. I think that might have messed it up. Possibly. I think maybe this is too much for my poor little laptop to handle. So we may have to uh, <laughs> may have to do something else on top of the something else we're already doing. All right, well let's try it again. I don't know. I've knocked a laptop top off of like desks and whatnot twice today. So yeah, not sure what's going on there. All right, let's see if it cooperates. There we go. And as we go along, the nice thing about this particular view, this is for like the big music dorks because it actually writes out what it's playing, nice. which is very cool. This would have come in handy if I uh, had this when I was still in doing my um, still doing my bachelor's in music. This would have been really nice to have. Yeah, you basically could have cheated your way through college with this. Well, at least when it comes to baroque compositions, I could have. Just adjust it slightly from there. It's all the same crap. Uh, not really. If you ended up submitting all of this for every single class, they would have just been like, why are you... Uh, uh, whatever. It's like everything you compose is in Baroque style. Why? Um, I really like Baroque music. It's just what I'm good at, man. <laughs> you can call me Baroque better. <laughs> because I'd probably be Baroque and out of school if I tried to pull something like that. Yeah, well. Ooh, now we're getting a prelude. Yeah, now we're gonna 
since now it's kind of cooperating. When it tries, no, I just let it play. <laughs> Did you speak too soon? Well, I'll come in over it again. Um, when a piece ends and it does the same thing on the actual system instead of just running it from an emulator, um, I don't know if they they thought about like the ends of songs because what will happen is it just kind of it's like a stuck CD. It'll repeat itself kind of the last like second and a half over and over again oh, okay. until it loads a new song. It's a little weird. The patterns it throws out and generates are so odd. Well, that's Baroque music for you. Now I'm going to shut up and let it play. Oh, because it's a fugue? Well, that and we haven't done that yet. Okay. We've talked over everything so far. So that's pretty much how that works. So let's look at some of the other visualizations. So that's, obviously you can sit there and look at the music as it actually comes out, which is really cool. 
And that, but, yeah, that I do like that because yeah, it gives you a little bit of background on what it's actually doing. Like, yeah, you it's... can even see like even if you just have like writer's block running this for a couple hours would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean the as a as a music professional, um, this is really fascinating to me simply because while some of the compositions aren't exactly the most inspired things around, it actually yeah, but it does is... a really good job of like composing in a baroque style and following a lot of the the uh traditions of what a baroque composition would look like so yep and i think the thing is you know even if it's not like even what we just listened to even i feel like i'm on fucking npr um <laughs> even if i know what we how just i felt for a while <laughs> uh even if what we just listened to though even if that's not like you know it's not the like a, some kind of crazy amazing baroque piece it is though pretty good for something that was made in 30 seconds pretty much like i said like, it does know, a really good job of of considering like that. Sitting, you're listening to this and probably nobody who's ever played cpu bach before has ever heard it quite come out like that yeah that alone is i think is probably one of the coolest things you can leave this going for like days oh yeah i've done that already well not days nice. but I've let I've left it run for like hours on end and just kind of sat there. I'm like, this is absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Again, from a from a music professional standpoint, it's really really cool. I'd love cool. to be able to find a way to get this uh, this technology made for uh, modern modern voices, basically. Hmm. I don't know. Does anybody have Sid Meier's contact information? <laughs> yes, we are looking to get in touch with Sid Meier. Let him know, please. Just pass that along to him as, hey, Sid, can you do this well, for, like... Is, is there a Sid Meier in the building? <laughs> can we do this for, like, classical and romantic music? Probably not, but it'd be really cool. Yeah, or, you know, I mean, you could probably make this do a whole bunch of other things. I mean, um, what is it, the new Garage Band and I think Logic have... Uh, and I think a lot of other stuff has this, too, but they have a really good, like, art of AI drummer. Oh, very cool. Which is kind of neat. So, like, yeah, it'll you like basically tell it like what you wanted to play, how heavy that sort of thing, and it'll it'll pretty much invent a drum beat for you. So it's like every keyboard ever. Yeah, basically, except it's <laughs> it's a little it's a little more it's got more con, more uh, intuitive controls, basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's take a look at some of this other stuff. So, moving on, we'll look at optical medley. The optical medley. It's a bird. Uh -oh. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not liking it too much. <laughs> it's a great time to pause it. <laughs> These colors don't run, motherfuckers. <laughs> hey. Anyway, so what did, did you switch it to the the, the visual medley, and now all of a sudden it's like that's broken. not a fan. Yeah, we're having issues with this. Oh no! I guess this is why they uh, they said that this game didn't emulate very well. I guess that's pro that's this is probably why. Well, well, let's... I think we can at least show these off, but we're gonna go have to go back to the uh, the you know the main concert mode in order to actually show what it does. Well, let's, let's see if let's we can do some other stuff. Concert. Let's try some other stuff. Let's try the picture okay. gallery. Maybe that'll, or maybe it won't. No, it's still it's still not happy. Nope. But on the other hand, we get to see Sid Meier's family vacation photos. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess this is what they meant by it doesn't emulate well. Oh, well. well let's at least see what the other ones do. There's the sure. uh, CPU blocking concert. It's kind of funny. If creepy. There we go. This one kind of works. It's, it's really actually kind of creepy, though. <laughs> Like not even like Uncanny Valley, just sort of like you'd expect to find this in like a creepy point and click adventure game at this point. Yeah, this reminds me of like not obviously stuff like Seventh Guest where it's all 
where a lot of it is like FMV movie, but something of that nature. Like, yeah, like, like Birdcage I have no mouth and I must scream or something like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be a good uh, a good comparison right there. <laughs> All right, so oh, now let's it's see just what it going does. to an Allegro. It's just like, screw this. Yeah, well, let's shut up and see what it does. Uh, now what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not... Still it's not, not happy, happy for some reason. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I, I seriously doubt that when the emulator was written, this game was a severely high concern, even though this probably is the coolest thing on the 3DO. <laughs> it's the coolest thing I can think of. All right, this is the only one that's left, is Musical Kaleidoscope. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just immediately start tripping balls. <laughs> I can't say I really used any of the other ones. I always just kept it on the uh, the music analysis for obvious reasons. Honestly, I think that the kaleidoscope or music analysis would be the only two worth keeping it on usually. I don't know. Like, the, the CPU Bach in concert is a little... Oh my god, what is your problem? I'd be better it's off just, just kind of like freaking out at random. It is. That's weird. Because it shouldn't be doing that. One second. We're going to go back to Wall Street Kid for a second. Ah, oh, that's the Wall Street Kid. Because I'm going to try to do something here. I don't know if it's going to fix anything, but I'm going to try. <laughs> the, the 3DO is going behind the Wall Street kid ah, now. Why are you doing that? Go away. All right. Let's load this up once more, and let's see if it keeps itself from flipping out. All right. Well, at this point, though, I think we're going to end up sticking to the uh, musical analysis. For now. For now. For now. So maybe like, I can I'm, get the I'm kind of curious what happens if you tell this to, um, like, make certain pieces again. Like, well, I want to hear CPU box adagio for strings. That's, it doesn't get that specific, so I, I don't think. But you, you can make an ad you can force it to do an adagio. Yeah. You can force it to use strings for it. I mean, come on. Alright, so is this gonna be nice or is this gonna be stupid? It's gonna be nice and stupid. Hopefully. That's looking like it's cooperating this far. You know, it actually looks like it's really good. Oh, no, there it goes. That's alright. I think it's just like there's certain things that, like, that it does during the musical analysis that it like it's not doing during the other ones I don't know well let's force it to do one no 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 let's force it to do one thing so we're going to do it in adagio no. for violin and strings All right, let's and yeah, that it. basically forces it to do this. Yeah, so because that's the only thing be you picked. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, not change concert. That's not what I wanted to do. You want to change the graphics. Yeah. Let's go back to the analysis. Uh, it makes me sad. Let's hear how this comes out. Doesn't seem too happy with this plan. Yeah, give it a second. 
So there you go. I did. It seems to have come out pretty well. Yeah, it did. Now I only I wish mean, that. I, I think it that's was kind of like the neatest thing is like if you really feel like making it do something, you get to kind of really see the, like what happens when you push it that far in a given direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's it's very very cool how just the, all the structures and all the conventions and whatnot of Baroque composition kind of work out i guess in a very well easy or not so easy algorithm i'm not sure how yeah, it's, it's, much of a pain in the butt it was to program this it's interesting that it's something that was able to come out you know 20 years ago oh, good lord it has been that long i mean let's see when when did that actually come out like uh cpu bot came out in 90 i think it came out in uh, I don't have the box next to me, but I think it was 94. Seeing what I can find. Yeah, I can't check the top, the copyright date.
I can get it on Amazon for 16 bucks <laughs> with prime shipping. Hmm, I don't know. I'm thinking it's I'm thinking 93 would be my guess. Uh, according to Game Facts, it was 94. So, yeah, 94. this game is 20 years old. That's ridiculous. Yeah, and this is something that was 20 years ago. And how has this technology really been used since? It's pretty much just been forgotten. Well, yeah, it hasn't. Then again, well, I could get into, like, we're headed towards, like, I could start, like, a dissertation on this crap. Um, oh, just... I know, I know. We could start going into <laughs> computer-generated music and all the algorithms. Well, not even computer-generated like music. I'm just more talking about how this could be implemented in terms of, like, following classical conventions. Because classical music is way more regimented than Baroque ever was. It's true. I mean, romantic music throws it all out the window, but... Like, from Baroque music, we get the idea of classical, and here are all the rules you're supposed to follow. I mean, if to build a anybody out there can think about, like, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, the first movement, mm -hmm. like, when, it, when you get to the repeat of the initial theme, and you get to the fermata, and there's an oboe cadenza, that was a big deal, like, when that came out and when that premiered that was a big deal oboe yeah like, well, i really no. can't yeah. i'm it's having not the a fact that you're using the oboe, oboe being i mean big deal. well it's it was a big deal because it was breaking convention it's like you don't have a cadenza in the middle of a recapitulation you just don't do it you don't do that you're screwing with your audience's expectations exactly and that was the problem this is why beethoven was relatively unknown until um Probably like midway through the Romantic period, not so like. I almost want to say like the late eighteen hundreds. Basically, just people didn't like him. <laughs> well, I mean, he just did weird stuff. I, he was he was really the forerunner into uh, what Romantic music was to become. Um, I did a, an entire paper on uh, Beethoven's Third Symphony and why it's the bridge work to the Romantic era. Um, I still have it somewhere. I was told I should have it published if I f actually felt like going through the score and doing the analysis, which I never <laughs> did. Yeah, you should get around to that. Uh, Come on. Uh, I have too much other stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. But I can't remember where I was even going with this. Anyway, the po the, the what I'm really trying to say is I hate sauerkraut. <laughs> it's a it's a valid point. <laughs> All right, so let's see what other kind of awkward concerts can we make right now. Um, let's do a couple others. So let's go back, like a vocal fugue. I bet that sound terrible. Hmm. Well, that could be interesting. Oh well, I mean that's not unheard of. That's basically kind of how a lot of like. Renaissance. Einstein on the beach. Well, things like magicals work that way. Kind of I can't even do that. And add some synthesizer in there. No, we're just gonna do coral. Oh, it's a coral fugue. See how this goes. It's funny how sometimes it seems to struggle with certain configurations. It's like, oh, God, what do I do for this? <laughs> you want me to make a... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Why can't you ask for normal things? Still composing. It seems to favor like keyboards over anything else, really. Hey, this is what I get for I picking vocals. I think it's going, maybe. Or maybe I just broke it. He doesn't seem to be writing. Time. No, he's still writing. You can see him. He's occasionally just moving his arm there. Mm -hmm. There we go.
really off the page. It's sort of hitting high notes there. Yep. By the way, you should never make basses sing when it looks like G in treble clef. That just ends poorly. <laughs> what do you mean? I know that from experience. Seems to be okay. No, I can't even sing that high in full voice. Bass singer here is actually reminding me a lot of Kyle Mari. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Oh no, you're not doing another one. All right, I regret that choice. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. very good. Again, as a as a music professional, you don't have bassists sing up to G and treble clef. That just ends badly. Let's do a jig. All right, so what are we listening to now? A Something gig. for woodwinds. Yeah, a jig. A gig you for woodwinds? No. <laughs> gig -gig 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 -gig. A gig gig way. A gig -gig. Isn't that the bad guy from uh, Earthbound? No. <laughs> Aw. Gugi. Gagway. Yes. Gagagaka. Tokakagaka. Gagagaka. Can you perform? Can, are, do you have the option for a tokakagaka? Or is that a different kind of music? Well, I don't know if it'll write just a takata. Oh.
That one came out pretty well. It's also stuck. Yep, and now with a little bit of research, I now I'm like, oh, well, that's just it's a jig. Yes, that's what it is. It's just a jig. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that, that definitely sounds like a little jig. Well, that's because it is. Yeah, there's no there's no takako cow cow here. You quack quow, quow. So anyway, this is pretty much the extent of what you can do with this. I mean, it is kind so, of limited, but it's really right. cool. All right, so I want to see one more. Okay. Write me a Fantasia for synth. <laughs> all right. Synth and harpsichord. <laughs> well, it only pick, it picks one or the other. It doesn't do it for both doesn't right it, away. I thought it... I thought it mixed um, the two in no. with what it was composing. Like it doesn't mm -hmm. do multiple voices. No, because when you added set the violin and strings, it was uh, it, there were some parts that were the violin and some parts that were the violins. Yeah, like the um for the strings thing, like you have violin, viola, cello. Usually in a, a quartet setting, you usually have like oh, at least a baroque quartet is you're usually your violin one was kind of like its own thing, and then you have violin okay. two viola and cello although it didn't even really have a viola part when we worked with that last time well i say jack up the harpsichord and let's see what happens anyway it's, like i said they'll probably pick one or the other i'm okay with that all right well off we go i mean if i end up getting a you know an allegro for harpsichord i'm happy wait why is it doing an allegro whatever CPU Bach doesn't like our choice. It doesn't seem to like any of our choices right now. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, apparently it just completely ignored that. Aw. Jerks. Let's see if I can't do something about that. Well, that might be why it ignored it. It may have just reset to that anyway, for some reason. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, there we go. There we go. I apparently did something wrong last time.
I'm saving that one. I guess that was cool. Yeah, that kind of did some neat things at the end there. <laughs> So now I can go back and I can actually pull that one up and listen to just that one. That's cool. So that shows so, yeah, up if I come back classic. to classics. Yep, there it is. And it just plays the same thing again. That's yep, awesome. it'll play the it'll play the same piece all over again. Yeah, I wasn't expecting yeah, that the, speed um, up in the middle. The musical analysis um, missed notes. See, I'm not sure. I don't think it does. I think it just shies away from... Yeah, we're not going to do that again. Uh, I think it just shies away from usually writing in four parts most of the time. Okay, well, I've noticed, like, there's a couple times when it'll go, like, da-da-da-da, and it'll... It doesn't seem to show that many actual notes on the staff, but it, it may also just be... They, they may be more evenly spaced on screen than they actually are when being played. Yeah, that's kind of the other problem with the notation, is that it's obviously not really notated that well, I guess I could say. I mean, you it's can It's not exactly no, it doesn't it's not proper notation. Yeah, if you get if you get really cl close and squinty, you can figure out where they are on the staff, but then the rhythmic notation you kind of have to interpret on your own. There's also no key signature. That too. I mean, it, it tells, tells you what you key what it's key working in though. Is, but... It tells you what key it's in. Right, it tells you, but you it doesn't show you in any consistent fashion. Well, you can look up key signatures. You should know your key signatures, damn it. In any case. <laughs> Sorry, um, I know it's not Monday morning yet, but I feel like I'm yelling at my students already. It's all right. Learn your key signatures, damn it. <laughs> anyway so that's pretty much cpu bach it's a neat little program um i wish something like this would i wish something would come out of this just as far as like an updated idea or something just some kind I of would, i i i honestly i mean ever since i first saw this i would have loved to see you know some kind of update you know, and I think there is some stuff that's starting to, like, come back. Like I said, I, I would love to show off Rocksmith tonight, but uh, I'm going to have to seriously look into that because it is not friendly with audio drivers. <laughs> not at all. But, yeah, I mean, but, I would um, love to see this updated for some in some fashion. Yeah, I mean the, the the idea of like a, a, a like computer composed music is just really really cool. Yeah, I mean even if somebody just took, um, not that I'm advocating trying to get the source code and just work it yourself, but even if this <laughs> were just like like ripped from the disc and made to work on a on a PC without having to work through an emulator or something like that. Like I said, who you has mean, uh, you mean contact like information? Like in so much as a uh, a CPU Bach HD, as it were. That I I would pay money for that. Actually, <laughs> that would be awesome. I think that would be pretty fun. I mean, it, I mean, God knows what's happened to the source code by this point in time. I don't know. Like I said, somebody's got to talk to Sid Meier. I'm sure he's got nothing better to do. <laughs> To talk about yeah, something I mean, he released what, 20 what years ago. What is he up to right now? He's getting yelled at for Sim City or something, or, or is that Will Wright? Uh, oh shoot, I don't know. I think that's Will Wright. Sid Meier's Civilization. Oh, he's he's working on Civilization yeah, stuff. Yeah, Beyond now. Civilization, which looks like it's going to be awesome as well. <laughs> He's obviously not up to too much, though. Come on. No, nah, he's got plenty of time. He can sit down. Come on, buddy. Us. Come on, buddy. Took you and one other guy to make this. It's only going to take you and maybe half of another guy to port it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you got for me? 
Well, I actually am trying to think of something uh, appropriate here. And I've got nothing. No? Absolute pawn squat. So I'm just going to have to pick something at random. Go for it. It will uh, take me a minute here. Meanwhile, I'm going to go with... I'm sick of looking at Wall Street Kid. I can't exactly say as I blame you. (laughs) Well, since we're on the music idea... Let's go with that. Ooh, here we go. Um, Do you have a... uh, Game Boy emulator? I do. You do? I do. <laughs> I'm not going to hate you find for something this. appropriate. I have a feeling I'm going to dislike you for this. You are, and actually I, I'm kind of amazed at uh, when I, what happened when I unzipped this. <laughs> You know how you like usually when you get games on the internet, you unzip them and it comes with like different region versions of the game and stuff like that, different like betas or whatever. Mm -hmm. This came with three. This had three different games in it. (laughs) Hmm. Don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be having you uh, play the original. I think at this point I I defer to the words that are on the stream screen right now. Gently with mallets. No, I'm more talking about the how about I just don't play. <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> I just gently with mallets. That's got to be you a timpani. You play part. so quietly that no one knows you're doing anything. Exactly. Like I said, it's got to be a timpani part. I've played parts like that before. I need you to be as quiet as softest mouse. (laughs) Then there's also the pieces that have, like, I play once in the beginning, I play once somewhere in the middle of the piece, and then once at the end, and there's, like, 80-some measures of rest in between each one. Yeah, those are fun pieces. Nice. (laughs) And then there's stuff like Bolero. Oh, God. <laughs> Hope All you right, like it's playing... on its way to you. Hope you like playing the same two measures for 15 minutes. So I should say, uh, before Matt gets started on his uh, special game here, this is a game that I think um, the two of us at least are fairly familiar with. Just maybe not on the Game Boy. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. Really? (laughs) I suppose it's appropriate, but... (laughs) But... Yeah, um... Uh, I'm going to let you explain this uh, one while I load it. Get this started here. Uh, It's a GBC file. Oh, it's a color. Whoops. Anyway, you want to explain this? So this is... uh, I'll let you load it first. It's a Conmy game. Conmy. I don't think the game capture has the right window. Hang on. Oh, it's by Konami Computer Entertainment Kobe. There we are. There it is. Yep. It is the Game Boy version of the popping music. Uh, when I unzipped this, it came with the animation melody and the Disney one. <laughs> I guess there really was very little difference in the code between the three of them. I... I don't know how I feel about this. Well, you know, it'll be brief. How's that? <laughs> So what what modes do we have? We have arcade mode. Hang on a second. I guess still invest okay. in the audio. You want to explain what the heck pop and music is for people who are unaware? Oh, sure, sure. For, for people who don't know what pop and music is, it's basically whack-a-mole with your hands. 
Uh, this That's is kind of it. after um, after Parappa the Rapper came out. Uh, there was a couple of other music games that were made by Konami, which most people in the U.S. are familiar with Dance Dance Revolution. And the other early ones were Beat Mania, which was the first, and Poppin Music, which was kind of meant as an uh, alternative to Beat Mania. Like, they're sort of similar in how you play them, but Beat Mania is a smaller seven-key controller. This is giant, like, prize machine-sized buttons <laughs> that you hit to the music. This is the Game Boy port of that. There was also a uh, Wonder Swan color port. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Ugh. And these are all very um, lo-fi renditions of some classic pop and music songs. Bad. Ridiculous. I have to say, it is still fun to hear these in the really crappy renditions. Oh, I should also point out, since this is poppin' one, your combo only counts for greats. Ah. You break oh, combo for goods. It's it's funny, too, because the uh, the red button in the middle, thinking if you're playing on the Game Boy, I mean, how am I, what, what button is in the middle there? You can either hit right or you can hit start. Yeah. Or you can just fail miserably. Shut up. My god. It is... It's... <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Bad, bad. <laughs> bad, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> I'm not helping you, but I'm helping me. such a weird layout on this <laughs> it is like these these were never quite uh I, I don't know what exactly was the market for these other than we have to make a game boy port <laughs> you are a loser <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that was wow my dj so bad <laughs> get on up half step it. all right so it's Left, up, right, B, A. Oh, that's confusing. Let's see what arcade. No, well, it's exactly the same as playing on a PlayStation controller. Why? Well, well, that's what I'm doing. Oh. But it's still confusing. I'm not used to this. Yeah. Well, it depends what like you have B and A in... set up for. If you have B and A set up for triangle and circle, it'll make more sense. I feel like ha um, going and digging out my popping controller and doing this. I don't think it's worth that much effort. No, uh, probably not. You can put it into excite mode and really hate yourself. Oh, what the heck is excite mode? Uh, excite mode basically starts doing weird modifiers and stuff. Oh, so I have two choices. What should I pick? Well, your choices are. Hold on, hold on. What is that? Uh, I'm not sure what cure, some of these are. Which is, yeah, and then J-pop. I think that J-pop is. Do you really want to hurt me? <laughs> Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yep, yep, so pick that one. Oh, no. Life. life. I don't know this one. Also, yeah, it's worth mentioning that these are old poppin' charts, too, from about 10 years ago. <laughs> Heavy metal was on this. I don't think that would end well. Uh oh. This seems oddly fun, isn't it? 
Oops, wrong direction. Wah wah. Oh, you got the you got the fever. I was there briefly. Combo. You are winner. That's much better than you are loser. Yes, it is. And I'm assuming that person won't crush their record. Oh, yep. Just throw it away, apparently. Yeah, and then just point at their face. Ooh, Don Mommy. Shulky. Oh. Dino! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. isn't This isn't the right one, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. It is? I think so. Oh, yeah, it is. Ah, uh, yes. Charted Dinosaur song. <laughs> this doesn't seem right not playing this on S Randy. I know is just as terrifying at this low resolution. <laughs> Actually, he's, he's, he's a little scarier. Ah, crap. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Nicely done. You are a winner once more. It's good. It's I. It. It's nice that I can spam the buttons after this, just like in the arcade. Yep, exactly. <laughs> that makes me happy. Except this doesn't have um um oh crap, whatever the song with um whatever the song with timer is. Oh, so can, <laughs> no. At the end, it just do that. No, no, that was that, that came out like a good like seven or eight years after this. Well, no kidding. Anyway. All right, so what are your choices here? I got three. I don't know what that is. I, I think don't know Charlie's what that is. get on that train. And I don't know what that is. Maybe. It is. Yep. Get on that train. I don't know this one either. I don't know any of these. Well, I knew the second one, but... Whoops. The timing on this is a little off. Well, pop of one. Oh, this gets a little rough, doesn't it? A little bit. Helps if I don't suck too. It's it's kind of mean. Oh boy. Bad 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 bad. <laughs> Funny seeing those like double taps and knowing that they're expecting you to do those potentially on the start button. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, now you are loser. Once I am more. loser. All right. It's all right. You tried. Get on up, half stepping. 
Uh oh, so you can make me do that song again. Let's try a different song. I don't remember who this is. Oh, no, I don't. I don't, I don't know this one. one. So I do know a lot of the old poppin' songs basically just stopped showing up again. Like something out of Mega Man. A little bit. You've been defeated by Coco. I think so. Yep. She you are a loser. I, you are a loser. I am a loser. Oh, boy. Yeah, the uh, the timing windows on these are not nice. No, I, I mean, Old Pop it never was. And I, I, from what I remember briefly of trying this, it's not friendly. No, it's really not. Once again, another song that I don't remember. It's a little mean. A little bit. God. Uh, oh boy. Well, you tried. That I did. I can't read that. I, I don't exactly know how free mode works. But I guess you can just pick. I'm assuming I can pick whatever. Oh, is that Ling Ling? If you pick Ling Ling, that means it's, that's, um, what's it called? It's, uh, uh, it had a really freaky remix. Is that, um, High Ten Raku? No, that's not right. I mean, yeah, take a look, see if anything interests you. Ooh, it's King. Craft! Bear tank! Bear tank! I'm pretty sure this was actually originally on the Game Boy 1 before it was on Pop and 10. <laughs> That's a little weird. The bear tank was from a Super Nintendo fighting, or Nintendo 64 fighting game. <laughs> 
Wow, what the hell? <laughs> Signed your own death warrant on this one. Wow, this is insane for a Game Boy thing. Forgetting the center button is right. Yeah, it's an odd setup. It's either going to be right or it's going to be start. Wow. <laughs> Defeated by Bear Tank. Ugh. No, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> that old school free mode. How do you even quit? Do you hit select? Do you just stop playing for a while? So you, you basically are just stuck with this now. Pretty much. Well, or we could call this quits. Because, I mean, we've pretty much shown off popping at this point. <laughs> yeah. Let's at least reset it. Whee! Let's see what else there is. No, no, tell me when to stop here. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not... Play Ling Ling's stage, I forget what... <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's Kang Kong, that's it. I don't know this one. I'm sure this isn't gonna sound good. Some of these charts are pretty rough. Yeah, that's pretty mean. It's like three note chords on a Game Boy can it's on Game Boy's uh Well house. that's that's the whole reason that they have the uh <laughs> did it again. I it's know. the whole reason they have right and start be the middle button.
That one a little better. Just a little a bit. It's still like I think this would take practice though. A little bit. Oh, I don't know any of these. Uh, it's King! Mm. It's a little early for that one, though. Yeah, well. <laughs> and it's Cowboy on the Game Boy! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> This actually wasn't... I didn't think this was King. This is a different character on one of the other Poppins. I know how to play this on guitar, though. No, this is King. Was it King? Yep. Because I know... I remember this one. Because this is like... Poppin 10. Yes, I think. Or 9. the one with the weesh and the thing called you a bitch. Yes. That, that ending kind of screwed you there. A little bit. Yeah, I remember this because the artist is um, sludgy, heart, sludgy Hawks with N. Oh, okay, yes. It is Sludgy Hawks within. Yeah. Well, up to you if you'd like to keep going with oh, this. Oh, God, think... no. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. I think that is the end of our show GB. for this week. Well, for at least today. <laughs> well, yeah, for today. I don't know. We'll see if we can come back tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get Rock, uh, Rocksmith working at all. Well, we'll just come up with other crap. We'll figure it out. Yes. Anyway, Thank you for tuning in. If anyone has in fact tuned in, well, and maybe I don't, I don't think know. anyone did. Oh, someone's in now. Hello, whoever you are Hello. tuning in for the end of the show. Go watch the rest on YouTube once I put it up. Yep, come Hello, see you're... us on YouTube in on the tubes. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you for tuning time. in. Have a good one. <laughs>